Hey Aries! Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie. Today I'm going to be doing your weekly reading for this week to see what's up with um, the energies this week. What are you going to be experiencing? How are you going to be feeling? You know, kind of like an or overview. I'm sorry guys that this reading is coming out so late. I personally like to release the weeklies before Sunday <laughs> so you guys can get ready for everything. But in this case, I just didn't have the chance to complete all of them. So it is Monday of Fire Signs. Um, I'm going to be posting Aries Leo Sash today. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for your continuous support. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for being here. Thank you for the support. <laughs> same, same thing. I invite you to join us on our mission to reach 20k subscribers. We're getting closer and closer every single day. It's getting really exciting to, you know, achieve that milestone for the channel. It means a lot to me. So let's see, um, universe, what are the most important messages that you have for our lovely Aries right now? Today I'm using the Floriography deck and the Work Your Light, if I can find it. I don't know what it, where I put it. <laughs> it was somewhere around here, but now it's not. I'll figure it out later. Okay, let's see. What is the main situation? For our lovely Aries this week. Okay, we've got the Eight of Wands as the main energy right now. Let me see if the camera is focusing there. So yes, the Eight of Wands is fast moving energy, Aries. Things are going to start to pick up this week. Maybe I feel like they have been kind of faster lately for you in all senses, in all contexts. Um, this is also a card of movement. So there is a big chance that you guys are going to be having a lot of fun by having maybe some travel or a trip or, you know, getting excited for what's going to happen on the weekend. Maybe some of you guys are moving places, apartments, houses, you know, cities, countries, and it's exciting. I see you guys being excited and very ignited with this um, fast moving energy. The challenge for our beautiful, beautiful Aries this week is the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups is actually quite a positive energy in my opinion. I see you connecting to the past, perhaps. Maybe the challenge here this week is to say goodbye to old structures, to say goodbye to things that simply have run their course. They have had their presence in your life, they've done what they had to do. And now you're moving on to something new, but you're moving fast into something new. And that could represent a bit of a challenge because there's things that maybe you don't feel ready to let go necessarily. Um, with this Six of Cups, we could be speaking about soulmate energy, people from your past, soulful connections. Maybe you feel like you're ready to let go of that certain ex. And it can be scary, yes. It might be a little bit of a comfort zone, their memory. But now you're ready for more. In the recent past, my lovely, you have the moon. Secrets being revealed, information coming to the light, a lot of subconscious healing, um, whether that is conscious, subconscious healing, um, in, the, in the sense that you're going through your subconscious beliefs, you're actually trying to tap into that energy and figure out what is it exactly about that energy that might be holding you back. Or just, you know, having that healing happen without your necessary um, conscious presence within the process. Some of you guys are actively healing, that's what I'm trying to say. And others of you are just, you know, finding out that you healed by having scenarios being solved in your daily life. What's coming for you ooh, is the Knight of Swords. More fast moving energy, guys. Things are picking up. Don't, don't try to slow them down. Go with it. <laughs> Some of you guys could be um, connecting very soon with an air sign if you're not already a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or someone who, despite, you know, their, their zodiac sign, 
maybe this is someone who is very determined they go after what they want they manifest what they want nothing can stand in their way maybe you are going to be entering this energy yourself okay in your mind space this week we've got the six of wands six of wands so this is a card of victory success happiness leadership others looking to you for guidance for an example of how to live life how to navigate through difficult circumstances you're kind of like a role model right now for a lot of people and that could be because you're on social media and you have a big following but that could also be because you know your family sees you as someone who's very very capable or that you you have certain knowledge that is not available for everybody and that's why they take your pers your opinion so seriously even if they don't appear to do so some of you guys are dealing with family members that maybe make you feel like you're not heard but they're taking note of everything you say <laughs> they really are what the universe wants you to know aries right now is the nine of pentacles and this is very lovely this is the universe letting you know that you have a lot of luxuries available in your life and maybe you're taking things for granted a little bit and i mean this is a wonderful card this is telling me that you have everything that you need that you're comfortable that you can enjoy little luxuries in life that you have a happy healthy home situation and these are things that we really get desensitized quickly of so we begin to feel like that's just normal and that everybody has that but that's not the case aries a lot of people are craving and dreaming about the things that you're already used to so it's time to be grateful your energy this week is the ace of swords so I feel like you're being very honest with yourself and others. I feel like you are taking things with a grain of salt. I feel like you are also having all of the important conversations that you need to have with yourself and with others. It seems to me like you are receiving powerful messages from the universe, epiphanies. And those epiphanies are going to guide you and help you. And a lot of those are actually things that you already knew in a certain extent that were kind of like hidden in your subconscious mind and now they're coming to the light in your environment we've got the seven of wands so there might need there might be someone in your environment i feel like this could be family related friend related perhaps i don't feel like it's love related not really maybe work perhaps for some of you um, but this is someone who needs to stand their ground. It's like your environment is maybe filled with people who need to speak their truth. Maybe you're helping them speak their truth. Maybe you're helping them understand their truth. Well, this is cool because your environment is also inviting you and inspiring you to defend your point of view, to speak your truth, to go after what you want. It's very like inspirational, motivational energy. As far as hopes and fears, we've got the fool. So you're wishing for a new beginning. You're wishing for a fresh start and a taking a leap of faith towards something that you really, really want on a soul level. At the same time, it may feel a little bit, you know, kind of scary in your subconscious area. I don't feel like if I tell you that you want a new fresh start, but you're afraid of it, I don't think that's going to make sense to you, Aries. But there may be a component of that very deeply hidden within your mind that you're not aware that it's there, but that the cards are picking up on, you know? So it is a time to evaluate and think about that and see if there's any beliefs that are holding you back from that new beginning. As far as the outcome goes, we've got the Queen of Wands. So you're going to be in a very positive, very productive, um, family-oriented 
energy you're gonna be that queen that inspirational motivational figure within your nucleus of people um, you're gonna be also considered as very beautiful inside and out as very capable as a multitasking queen <laughs> that handles so much on a daily basis but makes it all look so elegant and so easy and so effortless you're gonna be admired you are already being admired i feel with your mind is being very admired by people around you okay guys so give me a minute because i wanted to pull four messages from the work your light oracle but for some reason it's not here on the table let me just find it real quick i got all of my cards stacked my collection behind my desk so there they are fast access <laughs> Let's see. Universe, give me the messages that are most relevant for our lovely Aries for this upcoming week. First message. Trust the niggle. Okay. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? So there might be something that you are feeling. A little bit of a intuitive hunch that you can't put your finger on exactly what it means, but you're feeling it and it's trying to tell you something, listen to that. Try to figure out what's going on there. Second message, which I have to say has been um, coming out for a lot of different signs, is soul family. Call in your tribe, you don't have to do it alone. Okay. This card has popped up for a lot of signs. So that could mean, you know, bringing in, as I mentioned, your family or your friends, but it could also mean hiring like a therapist or someone that can help you. You don't have to go through things alone. You don't have to figure things out alone either. And then we have this beautiful artwork. Look at that. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. So comment below, Aries, and let me know what are you going to do this week? Just for pure joy just to make yourself feel connected and happy last message we've got the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hits soul tribe and I feel like you're getting those intuitive hits here with the ace of swords you are getting that clarity that perhaps you needed previously in order to move forward so yes, my lovelies, my lovely Aries, this is what I have for you this week. I hope that this reading resonates. Remember that it is a general reading, so it might not resonate with all Aries out there. Take what resonates with you, leave the rest. If you need to watch the video again to allow the messages to sink in, please do. Um, I'm going to be leaving this message um, uploaded always in my channel so you can come back to it during the week. And I just want you to know that I'm very grateful for your presence here in the channel. And it seems like a very interesting process that you're going through, Aries. I feel like you're headed in a very wonderful direction, to be completely honest. I'll see you next week and see how things are turning out, all right? I'll see you. Um, please make sure to subscribe. Hit the little bell if you feel inclined to, to receive notice of your weekly readings. However, keep in mind that you're going to be receiving, I think, notices for all signs. I'm not sure how that works, but just, you know, make sure that you're paying attention to see when your reading comes out. It usually comes out on the weekends. Today is an exception. Sending all my love to you, and I hope that you have a wonderful week ahead. Bye!